Hello everyone, welcome back once again to Lawrence Plays Factorio. Let's see, so in the last episode I noticed right at the end that this iron feed here, now it seems to be okay at the moment, we are just about pulling it through quickly enough for the base, but it did seem to be struggling, so I'm seriously considering having another set of unloading chests on the other side of this belt, at uh, railway line rather, and then another two belts coming out here and joining onto this splitter balancer here. So. I'm going to start off by doing that, but before I do that I want to mention, so in the last episode you saw me building up this wall along here and round here, and I thought it's there's only so much combat that is worth watching, so between episodes I finished it off and went all the way across here and butted up against the um, the wall over here, so we've now got this entire area, our area uh, fenced off and, um, and protected from the outside world. Now unfortunately there's, I haven't dealt with all of the biters inside it yet um, because I basically, I well I ran out of time really and not only that, um, I also realised that I was able to research artillery it doesn't require all that much more stuff than, than I already had so um, just the obvious uh, science pack types and so this will make do, dealing with the, uh, the biters so much easier if I can just drive around with an artillery train and I'm a little bit frustrated with myself that I didn't spot this sooner. So I've got artillery researching as you can see up here. It's about probably about a third done. It's a, it's a massive massive research, research project. So I'm going to leave that ticking over and and uh, eventually that'll finish and then I can um, start using I can start building up artillery and shelling the um, shelling the biters. That's, that's good. That, uh, that, and that'll make getting rid of them a lot easier. I also want to start building up um, power armor and, and exoskeletons and we'll see what else from there but one thing at a time. Let's start off with this, uh, with building up this station down. So I want to copy this, and I want to copy this. Patch up the um, slight differences in the uh, way it's needed over here. I love Robo. Uh, I love having bots to do all the building work for me. Makes things so much easier. Link these up over here. Oh, <laughs> I'm one piece of belt short. That's ridiculous. And I left my construction vehicle somewhere up north. There it is. Let's try and br always keep the construction vehicle with me because it's my expanded inventory. I need all that space. Okay, so that'll allow me to have the same amount of iron flowing in as before. And then once the next train arrives and this side gets filled up as well, I'll have twice as much. So what I want to do is change this to be twice as much because I've now got twice as much storage space here. But also link these across. Once this all gets built up that that should work. Um, yeah and I'm getting another iron delivery ordered now so there we go there's the train picking it up. It doesn't fill up that quickly. That's why one of the things on my list for ages has been stack inserters 2 and I, I might be able to do that now. What does stack inserters 2 take? They take oh cobalt steel I haven't got that yet. Aluminium I have got. Uh, surgical boards yeah fast stack inserters sure. Okay, so I just need to get I need to get cobalt steel for those, and then level up above that titanium, and the blue circuits. Okay, so they are quite a lot more complicated, but still I should be able to get one level up from where I am at the moment without too much difficulty. Up oh, and here come the bots to build the uh, the belt. Another thing I noticed between episodes was that I've screwed up once again down here, <laughs> and this underneath belt is the wrong way round. So I'm going to need to head down there and fix that. I seem to have a bit of a... I don't know, I, I seem... This this problem with underneath underground belts seems to crop up a bit more often than it should, really. Um, I think it's probably just a sign that I need to be a bit more careful. But, yeah, it does keep happening. There's the iron train. Okay, that's that fixed. I'm not sure how much this is going to help because there isn't an enormous amount of the sodium hydroxide stored there and as we've just been shown here there's no station supplying enough of it we've only got like eight less than eight thousand in here this is really is producing it very very slowly and half of it's being used up by the um, science production although that stopped because of lack of red circuits why do we not have red circuits something missing here solder don't know why that stopped it's got both of the both of the inputs here is that all you need for solder lead and tin 
Why is that stopped? Okay, let's go and investigate that. Yes, I am already yak shaving. I had all these cunning plans around involving artillery for this episode, but no. The game says otherwise. My construction vehicle is significantly wider than a train, it turns out. I'm going to leave it, leave it there. Okay, so we come up here. Don't make, make it that way. What? Right, okay, I think this is probably part of the upgrade I did. It's changed, some of the recipes have changed. Now that's a that's a pain, <laughs> um, because this was set up and working before. So to have it break because of an update is, is quite annoying. <sighs> Hopefully that won't happen again. Now we have a nice steady supply of solder coming out again. Oh, hopefully that'll be enough to keep up with all of the all of the all of the requirements of my factory. I did notice as well that this has stopped feeding out uh, lead plates. I suspect yes. So this is going to become a problem eventually. It hasn't yet, but these are clearly being used somewhere here for these tinned wires. So I'm going to need to get a tin unloading station in here. So this is all this is all finished, which is quite nice. So I can demolish that. I can demolish this station and all these crushers and processors and things. I can demolish this and this. So we've got this silicon ore being fed onto the onto the bus here. That I can't remove at the moment because there's 89,000 in that warehouse. I can't realistically remove 89,000 silicon ore. Um, so we'll just have to leave that dribbling it out onto the bus for now. But this is a prime contender for one of my stations. The only problem with this is we've got lead ingots here being turned into into solder. Can I make solder ingots? That's a question. So solder mixture... So solder, molten solder has to be made from the ingots. However, that turns... How, alternative, uh, alternatively, I can make from solder mixture, which is lead plate and tin plate. So 4 makes 2, 12 makes 120. So that's less... If, uh, I'm trying to do the maths. It might be less efficient. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. My brain is filling up and going, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, if I go from, if I go from ingots, then we get 12 of each makes 240. So that's going, that's being multiplied by 10. Ingots, ingots to, to molten goes up by 10. And then down by 10, but up by, by half. So every ingot makes one and a half solder. If I do it the other way from plate, what if I turn ingots into plate? That's a one to one. Okay, so it's more efficient to do it from ingots rather than going via solder mixture, because you get this halving effect in here. Okay, so I could, given that I'm trying to keep ingots just down here, I could make solder here as well and put solder on the bus <sighs> instead of these lead, instead of the lead ingots and the um, zinc, nickel, tin, tin, tin ingots. Oh, I don't know if that's better. <laughs> well, it's sort of basically working, so I won't worry about it right now. But that's why that's not disappearing. It's not covered by the bot thing. Put that there, and that'll take this out. Nearly all of it. Oh, I'm running out of electricity again. Sigh. So I need to extend my power, sp power plants up here. Those are nearly using up that full belt of coal. Not quite. There's a little bit more expansion available on there, but... It's getting close. We've not got any bot coverage. Oh, we've got bot coverage here. Okay. So I copied this. Oh, that's some steam engines one, some steam engines two. I'm going to just build them manually and put them onto the into the system by hand. It's going to be easier if I can find them. Need some stone. Okay, I think I've got that in here. Now I've got rid of it all. Okay, that's running happily. Let's leave that to go for now. Ah oh, yes, yeah, suit things. That was something I was going to do. So I want to make power armor. Oh yes, it's American. It can't spell armor. I don't think I've researched power armor too, have I? No. Power armor one, I have. That's steel plate, electric engines, and blue circuits. Damn it. <laughs> All right. 
that's going to have to wait. There's going to be a big episode at some point in the future where I build up blue circuits. However, for now, let's see if I can let's see if I can short circuit the artillery process, or rather, not so much short circuit it, but start building start building up the pro the system to build artillery shells. Oh, these are going to need. Oh, this is going to be another thing. It needs sulfur. Oh no, I've got a bit of sulfur. Well, coal isn't a problem. <clears throat> sulfur is a bit of a problem, if I'm being honest. Is that? I oh, know there's circuits. This one's sulfur here. Purified water is going to be interesting. And I've got that here, of course. I could pipe it up. <laughs> I could add it onto this pipeline. Yeah, sod it. Let's do that. I'm going to drive the construction vehicle through here very, very carefully in, it, in order to get rid of all these trees because I'm not getting rid of them by hand. And obviously I can't use grenades because that will destroy the uh, existing pipes. Not quite close enough. That'll probably do. Okay, get those bots to do that. Hopefully that means by the time I've built anything up up here, for building explosives and whatnot, it'll all be ready. There, that's what I wanted. Is that right? Cold for yes. It's just called explosives. Why can't I find that? It's researched. That one. There's cliff explosives. So I must already be making explosives somewhere because I'm using them for cliff explosives. Yeah, that one. Oh, it's made in a chemical plant. Idiot. Ah, oh, this is... Oh no, I'm just waiting for the bots to build. But I'm sure there was... I saw one along here that had failed. Oh no, maybe it's just hidden behind the tree. Let's let that bot place that one and then we can see how far it gets. Okay, that has worked. I just need to run down there and put the uh, final piece in the corner. There we go. There's not an enormous amount of purified water coming up this pipe, admittedly. But it's going to be enough for now. Right, so I need to make artillery shells. are made from explosive cannon shells and radar and explosives. So I need to make the explosive cannon shells, which is this one. So steel and plastic. And this one is in the construction factory assembly machine, whatever. Steel and plastic. Well, there's plastic. And steel? Steel, right over here. No? Steel, there it is. Okay, these are near side inserters, so I want these ones. I want to then have some far side inserters. Exerting like that. Those are... No, those are basic electronics boards. I need the other sort. What if up here I unfilter that and instead... This is also tight. <laughs> um, and have electronics boards on no, on the other side no, on that side I have to move this out of the way <laughs> mm, spaghetti rific there we go that even is at the right height there we go is that not iron? No, that's steel and plastic. Ah, oh, fooey. That was nearly good in a horrific, dirty, dirty way. All right, let's continue the horrific, dirty, dirty ways. From here, I shall take... Can I do this in what... With a... No! Oh, shh. Oh, at least that doesn't actually matter. Um, <laughs> what I'm trying to do here is take that from there to there. But that's not going to work. It's too far. Maybe the red one. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's now ready to make artillery shells as soon as I've researched it. But I can't at the moment because blimey, that research is still going. How far are we off? 95% of the way. I haven't run out of any of the um, research packs, have I? Yellow ones are being produced very slow. Ooh, Leon, I've got enough electricity. I've obviously just under specced my um, yellow science production, and that's an absolutely trivial one, so. I could just... In fact, let's just copy that. I'm going to have to adjust this belt first. I can put that there. There is, of course, a small risk that I'll just end up with a belt full of... a science belt full of wood, but I don't think that'll happen. I think these will clear up quickly enough. Yeah, there we go. 97. Nearly there. <laughs> the, um... Grey science production is really... And actually, the red science production is struggling to keep up as well. I obviously need to double that. Let's try that again. And the grey science is really struggling to keep up. 
but that's because I don't have enough bricks coming. I better run out of bricks completely. I hope I've got enough to finish off this research. Um, so I'm going to need to start spitting. Yeah, I'm running out of stone in general. It's because all of my stone is going down here to be turned into into this catalyst stuff. So I think I need to have another station somewhere that summons it and turns it into uh, into stone and into bricks because there are various things that require that. So having it just being all flushed away as catalyst is is a problem. However, as we can see, we have plenty of demand for iron that's and plenty of supply. Sorry, we have plenty of supply of iron. There's still 78,000 in there. So I can wait for that to get used up. Uh, that's going to just keep using this up. And then once that gets down below whatever I set it at, 50,000 maybe? I can't remember. I hope it's a decent number. Oh, I can't edit those from here. Hooray! Artillery's finished. Right, so you can start making artillery shells. And I can try and let's just build an artillery train car straight up in my pockets, if I can. I need lots of engines, and I need lots of red circuits that I haven't got. Okay, red circuits are here. Engines are up here somewhere, but they're not being... I've got this massive long thing of electric engines. How many how many engines do I need? 64. Crikey. Are there any in the logistics network? 50. Okay, that's a good start. Let's summon those. Now we have a pause while I wait for the artillery to send everything while they wait for the logistics network to bring everything over to me. Can I build an, an artillery remote at the moment? Yes. No. No, I need a blue circuit for that. Grr. So what I'm just going to have to do is build myself my artillery train and trundle out somewhere like here and just let it start firing at all of these bases and freeing up some space for me. Why is that drop? What? Oh, I've accidentally copied and pasted something there that I shouldn't have done. Don't do that. Do engines. I think I shift clicked instead of control clicked to try and take all the engines out of it that it would have made if it had been actually making them. I've not had my delivery of engines yet. Maybe they're coming from a very long way away. I was building engines up up here. There we go, it's that box. That's got the engines in it. Didn't, how, do, how do I keep failing at this? I think I don't click that tick. There we go. Now we have a flood of logistics bots. Namely, two. Come on. Where are the rest of my logistics bots? <laughs> well, they'll, um, they'll bring them down here eventually. And this gives this machine down here time to build up a decent number of artillery shells before I try and go out and do stuff with them. Now eventually I'm going to want to bring a train over here to get loaded up with these. Something like that, yeah that'll do. <laughs> Ugh. Still only got six engines, where are they? Where are those bots with my engines? Right, those are belts. Here some of them come. They're going past me, stupid things. Presumably they're coming down here to charge before they'll actually give me the um, engines they're carrying. Seriously, where are those? Where's that one going? Bots are phenomenally stupid sometimes. Oh, 60. Nearly there. Yeah, 64 I need. There we go. Right. Now we can have some fun. Let's try that again. Put it in the right place. Actually hook it up to the locomotive. And put in one of them. That should be a stack inserter really, because it's, in st it's a station and it wants I want to fill up as quickly as possible. So how are we doing? We've got 26. That's not bad actually. That means we're all armed and ready to go. I think we'll save that for the next episode, though. So uh, tune in next time when we'll go out and take some freedom to the biters. I hope you'll join me for that next episode. Thanks for watching.